we need to talk my channel is a content creator for more the haitian community for education purpose our focus is to save souls for jesus christ and to educate my community how to become a better than themselves my our brother african jasper a new channel very concerned about the haitian not identify themselves as black i think this is a very good topic and i'm going to speak on it we have a coward senator who went lies create conspiracy to the candidate president cause people very confused because no one understand how come a man who's supposed to lead who's supposed to be there can create such a situation like this let me tell you something i have all the information for you and also we're gonna give you some other people who talk explain some concern even people who live inside Springfield, ohio but what's so interesting about everything i have the answer for him he want to know why the haitian refuse to identify themselves as black let me tell you something i got all the answer for you inside this video i would like you to prepare yourself get yourself ready because the elf airplane is gonna take off i don't want you to stay outside we take off but before i have to what i have to say to my brother let me pull out the man who created the lies ha uh, himself explain to us everything the senator was having a interview with dana bash this is the man who created the lies he said that to his own and it's not the first time he lies about the haitian community this man according to this interview he was created a lies before this woman going to address that lies let's listen to that for me that's a wicked coward people this is kind of people who really need help the situation a country where really we need to pray asking god for help but you see people like this man called so-called senator who's supposed to be a leader to lead the nations but he's breaking lies to you know to put this man in much problem anyway let me listen to what he has to say but there are other conversations that are happening aiden clark who is uh, the uh, an 11 year old boy who was killed in springfield last year it was a car accident involving a haitian immigrant um, you said that he was murdered his father said that's not true it was an accident here's what he said to you politicians bernie moreno chip roy jd vance and donald trump they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain this needs to stop now they are not allowed nor have they ever been allowed to mention aiden clark from springfield ohio i will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies Senator, he's asking for you to apologize. Will you? Dana, first of all, my heart goes out to the Clark family, and I don't bring their son's name up because they've clearly expressed a preference for politicians to not bring their son's name up. Uh you see, like you can see, he accepted that was a lie, that the same category of men who lied because they were having an accident where they were one of the immigrants Haitian was driving, maybe accident happened. Accident always happened. It's not because he's immigrant. As soon as he got license, he's legal to drive. That's okay. But you see, this man create another eyes about the Haitian community. And because he want to create something against the Asian community. What I want the senator to understand about the Asian community, we don't left our country because really. We don't like Haiti. No, no Asian left Haiti because we don't like he love Haiti. No, we forced to leave our country, and this is why we all over the place understand that and believe it. We're gonna continue because there is a lot to talk about. This coward man 
continue lies about the Haitian community. It's another lies about the Haitian community because he tried to make a point, which is nothing wrong with that. He feels like too many black people come in to Ohio probably will be a problem because when you see all these black people start popcorn children black, so the white folk now start tremble because they already knew Ohio is a state where probably there is a lot of white white people. Now you see black people come and you already knew, but they didn't have any problem when Biden went one million Ukrainian to United States, but they have problem with Asian who fight, work hard to give America, several land, Georgia, one of them who's supposed to be Asian land. But because we don't have a president, we don't have a voice, we don't have nobody. So people just continue to take advantage over us. Let's listen the second lies. This wicked man who's supposed to be a senator to protect nations and bring to a man who says the Christian try to love each other. Let's listen. Just once and for all again started this in part saying that at which donald trump repeated on the debate stage that and he didn't say anything about the policies that you're talking about he just said it, haitians are eating dogs and cats can you affirmatively say now that that is a rumor that has no base basis with evidence Dana, the evidence is the first-hand account of my constituents who are telling me that this happened. And by the way, I've been trying to talk about the problems in Springfield for months, and the American media ignored it. There was a congressional hearing just last week of angel moms who lost children because Kamala Harris let criminal migrants into this country who then murdered their children. The American media totally ignored this stuff until Donald Trump and I started talking about cat memes. If I have to, but it if wasn't I have just to meme, create... Right? stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do, Dana, because you guys are completely... Can you imagine a man who have no fear for his word? He said, if I have to create lies to the American people, to the media, to the Facebook, to this, to that, this is what I'm going to do. It's kind of people we want to put in power. This is kind of people who want to call themselves leaders, co-op people. You know, while we try to see if the media can do better, but you have people using the media to lies and put other people, weak people in trouble more than ever. He continue explain his concern, which is he feels like the Haitian community coming to Ohio, it's a threat because so many Haitian understand. I have no problem with that, that concern. This is a concern anybody who want to have it. Any place, there is, that's your problem. But lies, conspiracy about them, this is something we will never tolerate. You just said we that you're creating a story. Public policy. Sir, you just said that you're creating the story. What's that, Dana? You just said that this is a story that you've yes. created. So, so the, the eating dogs we and cats thing is we, not... We are creating, we are Dana, it comes from firsthand accounts from my constituents. I say that we're creating a story, meaning we're creating the American media focusing on it. I didn't create 20,000 illegal migrants coming into Springfield, thanks to Kamala Harris's policies. Her policies did that, but yes, we created the actual focus that allowed the American media to talk about this story and the suffering caused by Kamala Harris's policies. Do you is the thing? People need to focus on. They may not have no fear to say, yes, we created. A man who's supposed to be a leader, to lead the world, but create lies over a nation who forced to leave his country to come and to live in the United States just for a better life, just like the Ukrainian, just like the Russian, just like the Chinese. There is people who are better country than, than Haitian people. They're here in the United States for their life. 
because Haitian community, we here because we don't have a country. We forced to left our country. The same way you see the Haitian community is here in the United States. When you go to Haiti, there is a lot of American people living in Haiti. They have houses, places, they are happy, they love it. You take Haitian, we left their country to come and to live in a country. No. Trust me. Trust me. Asian community, I'm one of them. I love my country. I love America. I see America has a place to come and visit, enjoy, but love being an Asian. We're going to continue listening to some people who talk about this concern. And after I'm coming straight to just poor men. Martin have a lot to say, and especially John Le Legend, one of the citizen from springfield ohio have a lot to see let's continue here that. hello everyone my name is john legend and i was born as john r Sims, a place called springfield ohio oh, springfield ohio you may have heard of springfield ohio this week in fact if you watch the debate we were discussed by by our presidential candidates, including a very special, interesting man named in Trump. Now, Springfield has had a large influx of Haitian immigrants who have come to our city. Now, our city had been shrinking for decades. We didn't have enough jobs. We uh, didn't have enough opportunity. So people you hear john legend explain to you the city was having problem before way before the asian community show up we left and went somewhere else so when i was there we had upwards of seventy-five thousand people and in the last five years we were down to like sixty thousand people but of late during the biden administration there have been more jobs that opened up more manufacturing jobs more plants, factories that needed employees and were ready to hire people. So we had a lot of job opportunities and we didn't have enough people in our town of 60,000 people to fill those jobs. And during the same time, there had been upheaval and turmoil in Haiti and the federal government granted visa, visas and, and uh, immigration status to, uh, certain number of Haitian immigrants so they could come to our country legally. Okay. And our demand in Springfield for additional labor okay. met up with the supply of additional Haitian immigrants. And here we are. We had about 15,000 or so immigrants move to my town of 60,000. Okay. Now, you might say, wow, that's a lot of people for a town that only had 60,000 before. That's a 25% increase. That is correct. So you might imagine there are some challenges with, you know, integrating a new population, new language, new culture, new dietary uh, preferences, all kinds of reasons why there might be growing pains um making sure there are enough services to accommodate the new larger population that might need bilingual service providers etc cetera, etc cetera. so there are plenty of reasons why this might be a challenge for my hometown uh but the bottom line is these people came to springfield because there were jobs for them and they were willing to work and they wanted to live the That's american true. dream Haitian just like want your to work. German. They're not here for the lazy Irish the drama. ancestors, oh, your Italian ancestors, your He's Jewish the truth. ancestors, your Jamaican ancestors, your Polish ancestors, all these ancestors who have moved to this country, maybe not speaking the language that everyone else spoke, maybe not eating the same foods, maybe having to adjust, maybe having to integrate, but all coming because they saw opportunity for themselves and their families 
and just American like dream. Exactly. And he came here to do that. Exactly. Some facts about immigrants. They if usually they do very well here. here. They the Russian, the Chinese, are hard working. The Jamaican. They're the ambitious. The they commit less crime than native Why born Americans. And Why not they will change? assimilate and integrate in time. Why but it takes them? time. So I think all of us need to have the same kind of grace that we would want our ancestors to have when they moved here with our Haitian brothers and sisters who move here too. And nobody's eating cats. Nobody's eating dogs. We all just want to live. Me, I was a Haitian growing up in Haiti. I didn't come into the United States when I was a baby. I come to the United States when I was go gone. I never heard that story Haitian eating cats because Haitian is a very prestigious. They love who they are and they want you to know who they are. Eating cats, dogs, we don't know about it. Even though we're going to a lot in Haiti, but no Asian is, is eating cats and dogs. And flourish and raise our families in a healthy and safe environment. Me watching Facebook, I saw in my travel, several country, I saw people eating dogs, cats, or their country, or their nations. Nobody really tried to come and he attacked in their nation who are really here. No. Why go for Haitian? What is wrong with you? Because they are black. Get your life. How about we love one another? I grew up in the Christian tradition. We said to love our neighbor as we love ourselves and treat Christ. Exactly. So, We're talking about Jesus. About I love Jesus. We adopt that about. ethos when we talk about Nonsense. immigrants moving to our communities and don't spread hateful, xenophobic, racist lies about them. John R. Stevens from Springfield signing off. Like Martin explained, which is very interesting problem. They're just afraid of these white folks. What's scaring them is 15, 20,000 Haitians. What happens if they become voters? They now become a voting block. They now can then have political power, which means economic power. And so what you have is you have these white folks trying to hold on to their old white town that's dying. As we keep saying, the average white death rate in America in about 15 states is higher than the average white birth rate. And so they what they're saying is we would rather go down to 50, 40, 30, 20 than to have these black folks come into our city and save our asses. But the Asian community, we don't have president, we don't have government, we don't have nobody but God. Because when you talk negative about the Asian community, you talk to God directly. God already have your answer waiting for you. It was flooded social media on Monday with posts claiming Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio, were eating local cats and ducks. But right. the Springfield yeah. police have said they received no reports whatsoever of pets being eaten. The rumors of cat eating migrants seem to have all started when popular conservative account End Wokeness posted a screenshot of a post on a private Facebook group of Springfield residents that said, quote, warning to all about our beloved pets this and those around us. My neighbor informed me that her daughter's friend had lost her cat one day. She came home from work as soon as she stepped out of her car looked towards a neighbor's house where Haitians live and saw her hanging uh, or saw her cat hanging from, from a brand all like right. you do a deer for butchering and they were carving it up to eat end quote and it wasn't long after Elon after that post that Elon Musk posted this picture with the caption quote save them the GOP House Judiciary Committee account tweeted quote Look at protect me. our ducks and kittens in Ohio. Just to be and Representative British. Jim Jordan tweeted, quote, when President Trump was in office, one, the border was secure. Two, illegal aliens weren't eating your pets. And then Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance, weighed in, tweeting, months ago, I raised the issue of Haitian illegal immigrants draining social services and generally 
causing chaos all over Springfield, Ohio. Lies Reports now life. show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. Where is our borders are? Martin showed you the shock from 1900 to 20. The population was from 80,000 to 60,000. And when the Haitian community come in, it's, it's, it's rebuild the city. But instead, these men went to fight to rebuild the country inside. The Congress, no, he tried to fight the Haitian community. This is kind of leader. We want to lead. They're full of evil inside of them, full of hate for black people, but they want to lead. This is one of the reasons I'm here because our border really bring some point about the Haitian community. Everything people say not really matter, but we want to hear what they have to say. It could be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. This is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as... TikTok, they didn't make a sound to the dancing story uh, of Haitians eating pets. Um, I think it's important for us to really focus uh, in Springfield. This is what we have. The white man uh, is concerned about so many black people coming to Springfield. The Haitian going to make children in Springfield. Soon they're going to be citizens in Springfield. They're going to be U.S. citizens in Springfield. This white folks they're not happy now this is his concern how they think well let's get let's get to al sharpen because i'm going to it with his anti so like my brother say you know he want to see evidence like me i bring the evidence where the senator who brings the conspiracy will make the lies repeat the same lies this is kind of people who try to lead us you know you know, a man who created lies, he break these lies to a man who's going to be a president just to make him say stuff, to create problem among others. Leave it alone because you already get it. I wish you get it right. This man, we knew him very well. He's a very figure inside the, the black community. I'm not interested on politics, but you know but me as a haitian this is something all of us have all haitian very activist because we kind of people we hate nonsense and because we create an atmosphere where people always try to manipulate the haitian community like if someone you close to me you can see me very vocal about wrong and right you know, because I don't like corruption. Corruption is a spirit, and I'm not going to buy for that. And my brother said something very interesting. He said, we look alike, you know, and it's not fair to attack another black man for because they are they look alike Haitian. Uh, Haitians in Springfield are coming in to think you're defending the people of Springfield whose pets are being eaten up. Any black walking around uh, uh, Springfield looks Haitian. I mean, it is racist. Mm -hmm. It is a clear threat to people. And, and just like I denounce whoever's trying to assassinate Donald Trump for whatever reasons to feel that they can go into Springfield and save pets. That's uh, those kinds of jaded thinking is what leads to killings. Our brother says something very interesting. That's sure. So. The same way we try, try to make peace because anybody who try to destroy, kill, you know, that doesn't make any sense. You know, all this nonsense need to stop. Our brother says something does make sense, you know, but lies, conspiracy to about the Asian community to create division between black people and Asian community. That's one thing we have to understand, black people, we are together. We all need to get it. But my brother have a lot of concern regarding the Haitian uh, 
community probably spoke to Haitian and, and, and what they said about the Haitian is true because even though me, when I go certain places, they want me to put on my application, you are black. I'm confused. I don't understand this because I am not black African American. That's not why we're here for in the United States. We're not a victim. We are a victor in the United States and we're not going to buy nonsense from you. So Al Sharpton says that we all uh, look the same. Actually, we don't. My brother concerned the other men say we are looking like he said, no, absolutely. We don't. Me, like I said, I can pull family member. I don't want to pull them because I don't want to put them in trouble. I can pull family member who are just like him. My brother, because my father have 26 children, brothers and sisters. I can pull one of my brother just like him. The same mouth. The only thing about my brother, I think my brother knows is a little bit more, you know, Italian than him. But the skin color, same thing. My brother have a better hair than him. You know, but they look alike, you know. My brother look more like better face, you know, because my brother look like more Italian you know, look like my father family. Because my family, we are several race. We have Dominican mixed with Italian and, and Haitian. So pretty much we give white all kind the color. And he was talking about, you know, different type hair and stuff like that. The reason why black people, we, first of all, we are the one who give birth to all race people. But one thing you have to understand, because we've been having children with several people, like me, my family, we have Italian, Dominican, and others. So we give people, kids different color. If I pull my children, you see white children inside my children. My own children, I give birth. If I pull their picture, you see white girl inside my children you see girls who look like chinese inside my children short you know different and i give birth to them you know it's normal in my country my family we have several long hair long hair all the way to the back because my grandmother she was dominican my grandfather was italian my, just like it's a mixture to erase inside we put children all kind. If I show you my brother, you see some of them black, some of them tall, some of them white, different kind. And when, but when we smile, when we act, we look alike. You can see brothers and sisters, 26 of us. My uncle, you look just like my uncle. My mother's uh, a brother, just look like him. And some people can help you understand culture. Let's continue listening to my brother. He's coming and I'm coming too. If you know our people and you can see other people from the diaspora, we don't look the same. You can always look at a few things outside of our voice, our mannerisms. You can look at styles of dress. You can look at a whole lot of things with people. You can hear accents from people, even if they've been growing up here. Yes, but he said he's sure. Different type like people from Nigeria. Me everywhere I go, they always think I'm Nigerian. I look like Nigerian. My ancestors from Nigeria. We mix. The only thing between the African, the Asian, or the race, black. Even though the Asian community, they do have black people inside. The only differences we have with the black African American is a culture. We from different land. Me, I'm from Haiti. I have a different style. Even though I can spend all my life in the United States, I will never speak English like American people. Because I speak several languages. I have to translate one language to another language. English, it's one of the languages I learn to speak. You know, that's the only difference is my body. With the cultural differences. You grew up in a household and they speak a different language, we can hear your accent. Even when you speak in English, a lot of times. I'm from Haiti. I supposed to, I speak French over there, Creole. We supposed to have an accent merge with the American. Even though the American people like you, when you're speaking English, and when I go to like 
England, I'm listening to people who speak English over there. You have a different English. When I'm speaking to England, I'm speaking to people from European, the American English for me is totally different. Because you are in the United States, the, the culture you go up, you speak slam English. But in the European, this is what they call real English, you know. It's a culture. You need to study. You are a very smart, intelligent man. You need to study culture. You cannot talk about black race. You don't know nothing about the culture. You just put one. But one, because you want to talk to the Asian community, I'm here to talk to you. I don't speak English. I know for a fact. You understand me? I don't care the grammar is not proper. That's your problem. So that you can understand me, my brother. Let's talk together. If I translate this, your conversation to my community, Asian community, let me tell you something. You in real trouble. Because Asian not going to sit in there let you talk to them the way you want. Because we never been slave to nobody. Learn that. We never been slave to nobody. We prefer to die than slave. We're not like black American people coming to the United States, wait for almost 300 years until the Asian come in and start to rescue you. No, no. We were the one who rescued the black American people from slavery. Us, nobody rescue us. We rescue ourselves because we, this is, we are a leader. We don't follow. We lead. Sometimes it's the hairlines. Yes, the hairlines is a, is a real thing. Um, it the, is it's the airline you're talking about is not everybody who have the same airline. Depend on your who come from. Like I said, me, I have a very tested, you know, airline. But I have family who have the same little type. I can even show you my grandson have your type airline. My daughter, she got like a. Dominican ally, you, you don't know nothing. It's culture. Talking about like race mix, nothing really. Features seen. that others have that we don't have as black Americans. Like, like I can tell an African right off the bat when I see them. Of course. Me, they always think I'm Nigerian because my nose, I have big nose. They always think I'm Nigerian, you know? And I have gaff, which is normal for people from over there, Kenya, Nigeria, they all, they, you know, it, it's just like, of course, me, my ancestor, ancestor from Nigeria, they told me all the places where they come from, Nigeria, Congo, Nigeria, Congo, Cameroon. this is where my family, a, a Kenya, something like that, you know, I never been there, but I know where I come from. It's three things that I see with Africans versus us, it well, a lot of things. Um, exactly. You can hairlines is one thing that I've seen, um, not but not thing. all because the Zulus have the same hairlines we have, so it's not all of them. The same like the Asian, we have a lot of black Asian, Ethiopian, uh, they black, but they don't have the same hair we have. Is it not that there is something we call a, a, a feature, you know, in, in black community? The feature come from who our family make children with. You know, like me, my father is a real black man, but my mother is a real black woman, you know, but inside my family, my father, my great grandfather was Italian. My great grandmother was Dominican, but my mother, my grandfather from my mother, they were French, you know, so pretty much when you see my, my father make children with my mother, you find me with a little, you know light skin and, and the children i have some of them make it white skin some of them very beautiful oil skin just like indian it's just like different because the mixture is there my body it is porous who they having children with nothing really serious like i said i can pull one of my brother just look like you everything about your face the only thing my body have differences from you is the nose my body have a very pointy nose you have a very wide nose like a real african nose feature nose and your mouth is very big but my body have a very you know a big mouth too but good looking young man okay it's, it's <laughs> but it's, it's the ones we see the hairline as we always can tell um of course culture is different of course 
Exactly. Uh, the nose and mouth area looks a lot different than ours. Um, from well, it's I not think. every uh, black yeah, African American. Definitely, definitely right up in here. A lot of times, let's say all black okay. Americans. This is targeting you. Um, no, it's not because black Americans have not been known to do things like this. Now, I'm not speaking about actual the country of Haiti. My Asian community, no, never, we never, we always been attacked, calling name, try to put accusation, but this, then always lie. That's why people have to come in and apologize because we never eat dog and cat. That's a lie. Haiti. I've seen videos in Haiti where some of these things were happening. I've seen the video. Yes, there is a lot of video in the Haiti where people dancing, acting like a fool, witchcraft and stuff. Oh, just like in the United States, people go to Santa Barbara, they go to New Age, they go to Crystal, all this, you in California, anywhere New York. You are doing the same thing. It's just different demon. <laughs> <laughs> different region, different city, different demon. There is no differences between the Asian. Yes, the Asian, a lot of them. Me, I go up to a, fa a Christian family. I don't know about this. A lot of stuff I saw them in, on, on TV, Facebook. When I was in AED, I didn't know. And 60% of a people who went to AED do food with they are white people. They went voodoo, all this nonsense in Haiti. Haitian people, they talk about Jesus. This is what we know, Jesus, Jesus. That's why we are a good nation. You know, we have value because we teach our children to love Jesus. This is white people go to Haiti, bring voodoo to Haitian people. Clear as day. Um, some of the markets they have over there, some of them practice some of that. But we're talking about in America, uh, we're talking about actually Haiti in certain places. We're talking about America. I, I have not heard that commentary about it in Florida. I haven't heard that commentary about them in Florida. No, you're gonna hear it, it would be in Florida because that's where the, the bulk of them at. Uh, you got some in New York. Everybody I haven't heard that commentary out of New York. God. You'd have heard it Indian prior. Got their own God. The American have their own God too, but at the same time, they, some of them knew Jesus just like an Asian community. Right? Once again, this is not about dogs and it's not about cats because you know them folks, they love dogs and cats way more than they love people. They love dogs and cats uh, uh, way more than they love black folk. Trust me. I've seen how they are with these animals. And that's why a lot of black folks don't like, nah, I'm cool with taking your cooking. Um, nah, I'm cool. On Facebook TV, we see how these people or their country, they eat animals. We don't see that in, in, in Haiti. I never saw Haitian people eating nonsense, blah, blah, blah. But right now, they just, you know, they Haiti on, on Facebook, watching other people doing a lot of that nonsense. They just do stuff too. So... Our mindset was these are our brothers and sisters. Look, look at what's happening to them in these countries due to the policies uh, of, of the United States government and the Western powers. Hey, let them come over here. You know, we can get wood. I'm not too sure what my brother is talking about because since I was born, I never knew a time the government in America didn't want the Haitian community. By the way, we are the first import export food for America before China. We are the first one who fight for the land of America for America. We are the only one who gave America the, our safe to save for us. It was two brothers, two best friends, but the American government that allow other country telling them to trust them by destroying the Haitian economies. Now the same people who help them to do that they are the enemies now the trust is working people can talk say whatever they want to see but america knew haiti is the only strength is the only people the haitian community he got got his back you know my brother get it right but the unfortunate part those who came over here did not want to be on some unity did not want to be on some pan-africanism did not want to work together. What happened when they start coming over here? They started to do what, ladies and gentlemen, separate themselves into their own communities. Okay, this is the problem my body have. One thing you have to understand, my body. Me, I was a Haitian uh coming to United States. 
when I came to United, I was living in Florida for years. I never travel. I never go nowhere. Reason because I found people who speak the same language as me. I feel comfortable around them because when you first come into United, first of all, you don't speak English. You see, the Chinese did the same thing. The uh, uh, Asian do the. It just like we wanna be around people who speak our the same language, and because there is a culture differences also because the haitian community we have a french lifestyle culture the american people they have like a little bit wide lifestyle you're talking about a code code dark code us as a haitian community we don't see code 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 dark as a haitian mother raised her him in united States. he got like american lifestyle if you raise in a modern Haitian community, you cannot like call, call back Kodak. No, uh uh, we're not gonna tolerate this nonsense because the Haitian, when we give birth to our children, to be honest with you, you follow what we said. We're not gonna tolerate you telling us this, this, this. No, we don't take order from children, we don't give children power over us we lead and we control we we told you what to do how to live your life even though if you going up you still have to follow order you can see on the net just get joke about asian mother is a difference is culture because the american people just like a, the young american people i can see like you know I don't want to say that because you cannot do better if you don't know. But sometimes I feel like they don't have no manner. They just like children who raise on foster parents, children who raise, you know, really, really, really sad for situation. But that's not the Asian community. We don't raise like that. In my country where we raise, let me tell you something. Anybody can tell you how to live your life. It doesn't have to be your own mother. If you not follow order, anybody can beat you like a dog. That's the race we're going on. But American, you cannot beat them. And the Bible says there is a bad spirit inside children. If you don't beat them, they're not going to get it together. So United, you don't beat children. But in my country, let me tell you, since birth, <laughs> until you, you get married. Nations separated themselves into little Haiti. Okay, exactly. You have uh, uh, different Nigerians, about. they separate themselves into their community, exactly. Because you have the say, country, anybody you can think of, right? Any group that's in a diaspora, they all the Somali, and they, you they, think they, about they them, how they separate the, themselves uh, away from black they America. Dress, then, they when we're black people, we're like, you know, we are black. No, we ain't black, we are not black, yes, right. And for years, we it wasn't just a Dominican saying it. I ain't black. I'm Dominican. Like, no, they're put on them. Why. When the Asian community say to you, I'm not black, it's not like because they have a problem being black. When we go to fill application and stuff and people asking us, you, oh, you black? No, I'm going to put all the I'm Asian. I don't know this language. Because this is something Asian people for us, because they, where I come from, I don't know about black, white. I don't know this thing. We were Haitian, and for us, the only people was exist was was us. We're not here to listen to people telling us you are black because you black. You don't have you not supposed to work here. You not supposed to do that. That's not what we here for. We here to work, and we left family in Haiti. And we're supposed to look for, we're supposed to take care for. We're not here to listen to nonsense about you black because you black, you cannot do this. For us, is an insult. You know, for us, is a nonsense. We're not sitting here acting like a victim, like black American. No, black American want to be a victim. Oh, I'm black because I'm black. They don't give me this job because I'm black. Yes. Me, I was in Florida for years. I never knew about racism until Trump became president. Because this is something I don't go up on it. You know, and where the country I come from, we don't know about this nonsense. That's why when you tell Asian black, we don't want to associate ourselves with that nonsense. Because we come to work, we don't come here to live in a welfare. We don't want small we have ambitious we believe in life some of us was living house building supermarket and haiti 
you know now they come in here all they have here it's more peaceful but when i come to you and i said the only thing is was different for me it was the law america there is law that protect other people after that when i came to and i said nothing was different really you know now asian forced to leave their country to come into united to 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 stay in here so but while we here now we focus on walking fucking we don't want to live in like mentality uh, uh, because i'm black and they don't like me i cannot live there i cannot buy this house for for us as asian is a nonsense nobody can stop us by the house we want to buy as soon as we got the money nobody no we're not going we're not coming we we are hard-working people and when it's time for us to move for better life nobody can stop us the reason why we refuse to accept your nonsense i'm black Af I'm Af american you are american what did you just put american for you but they just just put american are you american when you look at the application the your application don't supposed to say if you are black american you are white american no it's supposed to say are you american asian asian those country are you a female or a male that's it if my application cannot asking me are you a female or a male i will say yes i am a female yes i am a male a race you only can ask in me about where i'm come from if i'm asian if i'm chinese if i'm this if i'm that like me i'm asian i put asian but the, you tolerate them to call you black african american you tolerate that instead talking against asian who stand for who they are why don't you use your platform to remove this box black african american why they call you black african american born in america why they don't call you black american why they don't call you black american because you tolerate that us don't tell us what to do how we supposed to live we are asian and this is it period why they don't ask asian people are you black or white asian why they don't ask chinese are you black why only you don't you see you are you are the problem with yourself my brother the haitian community not your problem okay i'm not a black african i'm asian period african american i never been africa why i'm gonna say i'm african american no i'm Haitian. period i mean that's the reason why my brother we say what we say we don't have any problem if you we are the one who fight for you in savannah georgia we are the one who fight for Ohio, many places today you have this land. We are the one who come into America, set you free from slavery. We don't have any problem. We're gonna continue fight for the whole black community because we are one. Black African problem, it's black Asian problem. Black American problem is black Asian problem. A black Asian problem is black American problem. But we're not gonna sit in there inside a box telling me, oh, are you black? African American. No, I'm Haitian. You need to stop nonsense too. When you look at your application, they asking you are you black African American? Why you say yes? You don't want to tolerate them because you want to be a victim. You want the people to know the reason why you want welfare because you black. You want people, this, there is more white people in welfare than black people. You want they know the reason why we don't live in the good neighborhood because you black. There is no because you don't want to work hard. Because as soon as you get the paycheck, you go to the club. Me, the Asian community, we don't even have club in Haiti. If Asians start coming to club, they come into club here in the United States. They're watching people in the United States doing nonsense. When I was growing up in Haiti, no clubs. I never went to club in my life at my age do you cannot talk for the asian community you cannot telling us how to live we love the american people and we are here to work and taking care of our family in haiti we're not here to talking about race we're not here to talking about white and black you are the problem my brother you are the problem you've been co-op long time now it's time for you to wake up get yourself out this is what candice owen keep telling us Sometimes we come against her, but this is one of the points she always try to say. 
Stop letting them put you in a box. Say, oh, we, you come in in my country, oh, we flag. Of course, flag represent who I am. That is say I'm a Asian. My flag, it's a part of me. You say we don't supposed to flag our flag. Me, I have all kinds of flag. Even my blanket is Asian flag. So don't tell Asian what to do, my brother. Because the country where I come from, I didn't know about I'm black. I knew I was Asian. I'm Haitian. Okay, my brother. I love you. And I knew you're doing a very wonderful thing. We're together. Stick of together. How many of you remember that? We need to work together. We love <laughs> black Americans. You know, they kind of put this together where people are saying, I'm Haitian, not black. I'm not black. Exactly. I'm Haitian. I'm Duh. Another one say, I'm, I'm not Haitian, black. I'm, I'm black. Haitian. But you cannot tell in us, Haitian people, who they are. Okay? You have nothing to say about us. You have nothing to say. Take care of yourself. Continue making videos, talking to people you're supposed to talk. But don't. Never telling us we have no right to 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 pull our flag out there is nothing wrong with that they never never been african american they all they knew i'm asian so for them they just confused what is it black american but there is nothing wrong with that because all race chinese asian all of us we have black and right but what is only american people they want to tell them are you black african american no you are the only one they call out of your race only a black Af american they call a black african american after that they're not gonna put it on asian people we are not black african american we are asian that's it like it or not this is who we are we know who we are i'm not black i'm asian you now you want to come for the haitian you the one who identify yourself as african american did you born africa did you grow up Africa? Did your mama give you birth in Africa? Why you allow people to call in you African American? This is the stuff you need to fight for. This is the stuff you need to use your platform to remove from. Not the Asian. I'm not black. I'm I'm Asian. Jail and back. Another one uh, down here saying, I'm not black, I'm Haitian. They, they keep saying it over and over and over. I'm not <laughs> black, I'm not black, I'm not black. We 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 pull you out of slavery, but the mindset, the Jim Crow mindset still in you. The Jim Crow mindset still in you. Let me tell you, my brother, we need to rescue you. We're not against you. The Jim Crow mindset still in you. Uh-uh, I'm Haitian. I'm not black. Examine everything we say. I think you can get your understanding on it. And Haitian and not black. Exactly. You know, so I'm just kind of, you know, one at the top say, you, I would never date a black man. It's a, it's, it's a Haitian. No, absolutely. Haitian people love black men. We don't date white men like this. If you see Haitian people date a white man, something happened. Me, I'm a black woman. I never date a white man, you know, because I've never really come close to a white man. I don't know that if they smell. Ah, we love black people. We love black men. We love, 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 love black men. We make babies black. Understand that. We are Asian. We're not African-American. We're not because we didn't born in Africa. Remove yourself from the Jim Crow uh, uh, mindset. Haitian woman saying this, right? I had a Haitian woman last year make a video to me uh, uh, um, referring to some things that I said um, about, you know, what we deal with is anti black racism. And, and she say, oh, y'all, this black thing, and, and y'all need to get over that. And, you know, quick to tell us what we need to get over. Exactly, because you wanna be a victim. You wanna live in a box to, to let people know the reason why your life is the way it is because you black. Nonsense. We kind of people when we come in, we work hard, we fight hard, and we knew we are. We left family behind. We don't have time to seeking for a, a welfare, seeking for food stamp, seeking for housing program. No, we don't have time for this nonsense. We're looking for a job. Nobody can tell me because I'm black, I'm not qualified to say. And as long as we start making money, we're going to live in the best neighborhood because we want our children to go to the best school. We believe in education because we didn't have that.
they stole it from us. We want our children to have the best education. This is we we are, my brother. We're not against Black Afri America, but we don't have the same mindset. You have a victim mindset because you've been abused by white, white folks. And when we came to the United States, we didn't stay in Haiti for 300, 300 years to, to get out from slavery. You knew that. No, we say we're not going to slave to nobody. And we set a laws inside our country. Anybody who slave coming to Haiti, you free. This is where we are, my brother. We love you. We fight for you. We give you the freedom. Now it's time for you to stand on it. We're not going to put the Jim, Jim Crow uh, uh, mindset on us. We're not going to put your victim mentality on us. We are Asian. We, we're not looking for welfare. We're not looking for Biden to give us a, a housing program. We're not looking for Kamala to give us full stand. No. All we asking Biden a T TPS. We say give us TPS. Biden give us TPS because we want to work. And when, when Asian people tell you you want to work, they're going to work in a farm for you. They're going to cut grass. They're going to do whatever it takes because we understand money is freedom. Money is power. And we respect that. We believe that. My brother, get your life together. Get your life together. Leave us alone. We're not your problem. Use your platform to remove yourself from African American where you are. But I'm Asian, not black. But yeah, you came here because of our struggle. No, we don't come here because of our struggle. Asian forced to leave their country because insecurity. Who brought that insecurity to us? The American government bring a bunch. People from prison and Haiti, gang members from prison and Haiti, today become to terrorize the whole nation. Get your life together. We don't come in here for struggle. We come in here because we forced to be here. And we said for a long time. We come in look, here because of person. We deal with anti-black racism. Y'all black like us. Let's go. Gang member. This is why we here for. No, 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 no. Y'all always talk about the white man. Y'all, y'all talk about reparations. Y'all exactly. stop being lazy. This X, Y, Z. And we try to say to for be. years, hey, let's work together. You want us to be worried about white men. We don't believe in this nonsense. Asian community, we love American. We love African. African can come in the United States say, I'm African American. Can. We do better working together. Nobody we are working with together, my about brother. We're not gonna let nobody disrespect a American black American. That's it. We are Asian and American Asian. Because by the way, Haiti is in America. Haiti is located in America. We are American. That's it. This is who we are. We are American. We want you to know Haiti is America. Is a continent America. We are. It's not only you American inside this continent. It's not only US inside the continent. Are you supposed to question that? But uh, I always listen to your video. I really like your video because I knew how much you care for. And I know you say all these things because you really, you really want us to be. We are the same. We are the same. We love you because you want us to understand. We are one together. Of course. Come Asian people coming to United States and they don't believe we are the same as black American. No, we are the same together. We are the same together, my brother. The American, the Jamaican, the Asian, the African. As soon as you got that skin, that skin color, we are one. Trust me. But this is something we knew. And we're going to fight for each other. We're going to fight to the core for each other. But that doesn't mean we're going to tolerate nobody, manipulate us. Let us live like a victim. We refuse to be a slave from the white folks anymore. Asian community don't think they better than nobody. They knew the only one thing, like I said, this is a nation who knew who they are. They understand their standards. I love you, my brother. This is all I have to say. May God bless you because God, Jesus died for us. We're not going to be, we only going to be slave Jesus Christ. Not, no men are supposed to have power over us. Only Jesus. God never give men power over men. 
He give us power over the tree, over the sea, over everything. But not men over men. Only Jesus have power over us. I love you. I'm not going to keep because my video already long. But I'm going to have to remove a lot of stuff. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye.